Chapter 174 I Know Nothing Questioner The understanding has deepened more this week. I don't exist. I really don't exist. I am also understanding that there is nothing to grasp, nothing to understand, because I know nothing. There is nothing to know, nothing to grasp, just emptiness, just emptiness. And the beauty of this is that the seed has already been planted and is sprouting by itself. Nobody is doing anything. Maharaj, it is spontaneously sprouting. Questioner. Answers are coming by themselves now. The analogy of the sky that you use has deepened the understanding. Sky does not know what it is. Sky is not even aware of itself. So similarly, there is no you, no I, nothing to be aware of, just emptiness. My gratefulness to all the masters for the understanding. I have taken so many years to understand, but now it has really taken root. What I understand now, I believe, that it is like before my conception. Nothing was there. It is the same thing going on even now. And that answer is coming. I have no more tension, no more conscious longing. It is just as it is. It is as it is. Maharaj, because your spontaneous existence is beyond everything. Questioner, yes, presence is always there. Before there was only books, and through them I gained intellectual understanding. But now I know that it's not intellectual, but much deeper. The other thing I found helpful was what you said about the poison. It became very vivid for me. When the poison flows into the body, there is no need to ask what it is going to do. You know and accept that the poison is going to work. So I took that very strongly. And this has gone in the understanding that the nectar, the knowledge, is being absorbed. So there is really no need of any understanding, as there is nothing to hold on to or grasp. Maharaj, it is exceptional conviction. Understanding is one thing. Conviction is something else. Spontaneous conviction is something else. That I am nothing to do with this world. It is just as I told you. Spiritual knowledge is also the great illusion. It is only there to remove the first illusion. When we read books, we are adding ego. Questioner. I think it is needed at the beginning, otherwise we have no idea. Maharaj. Of course. It is just like the thorn, and then both thorns are thrown out. After conviction, you don't need knowledge. Knowledge is also illusion. Questioner. The master is really within. Therefore, all methods are wasted because they are looking out. The master is within, giving you all the answers. Maharaj, that is right. This is called selfless self-devotion, where there is a conversation flowing. Questions and answers are flowing. It is flowing talk. This is selfless self-devotion. Spiritual thoughts are not thoughts at all. This is reality. The flow of spiritual reality. The flow is going on inside and then through that reality all questions are dissolved. Questioner. Questions dissolve because the understanding deepens and the answers come from within. 
Maharaj, I am very happy with your progress. Questioner. Also, the issue of blaming others does not arise. How can you blame anybody when you know this is coming out of you? Everything is coming out of you. So there is no one to blame and no one to anything. Just selfless self. I don't feel I have any questions. Maybe they will come, I don't know. Maharaj. A period of no questions is needed because after conviction you are not to undergo any spiritual education. Questioner. But meditation is needed because it deepens the understanding. Maharaj. Because meditation is inviting the attention of the invisible meditator that you are ultimate truth. Questioner. That is the only thing that has to be done. Meditate and go deeper into the truth. There is so much happiness after struggling with this for decades. I recognise that the inner master was with me every step of the way. Some people gave me books, talks and then finally I found you on the internet and was put in touch with you. Maharaj, you have a very good base foundation because it has resulted in conviction. You're not to do anything else now. You're not to go anywhere. Nizargadatta Maharaj used to say, now you are to chew the chocolate of presence. Questioner, I think the deepening has to mature. In the short time that I have been talking with you, the teachings have fallen into place for me. The more we talk, the closer I'm getting to the core of spirituality. I have no need for books anymore. Maharaj, I am very happy when I know that a devotee or disciple has full conviction, clear conviction, complete conviction. When one reaches this stage, individuality is gone and you will no longer talk about presence. You will never refer to presence, and there will be no experience of presence. Presence also dissolves at the last stage. Questioner. And becomes omnipresence? Maharaj, yes, but you are unaware of this. Questioner. Thank you, Maharaj. I am grateful for your time. I'm sure you have many more people to talk to. Maharaj, it is my pleasure. I like serious devotees. I expect nothing from them. But if one has conviction, then that is my asset, my pleasure. 